the Sephora sales event is upon us. And this year, doing things a little differently, I'm not going to waste your time with a big or long video. Instead, I'm going to give you my recommendations of what I've been using the last few months and, of course, my favorite brands. So first and foremost, if you know me, then you know, Danessa Myricks is my ultimate top favorite brand. Anything and everything by her brand works. So if you want to try a few things out from her brand, now would be the time to do it. I would suggest at least three to four items. You won't be disappointed, I promise. The first two items are a perfect match. This serum right here, I've been using it over and over again for almost a year now. It's dewy, it's glowy. It also makes a perfect primer. The next one is a balm powder. This is a perfect lightweight foundation. Then we have her blushes. I can't say enough things about them. Use them on the cheeks, lips, eyes, anywhere you want. You name it, put it on the face. The next one is going to be Makeup by Mario. This is a skin enhancer. This is hands down the easiest bronzer you will ever use in your entire life. Beginner friendly, foolproof, nothing else to say. Next thing I do have is the Say. This brand has gotten me as soon as I used it. I love this primer. It's also a highlighter. It's skin friendly. It has good ingredients. Also their concealer. Love it as well. It's brightening, not full coverage, but it's beautiful and hydrating under the eyes. Next one we have is Rare Beauty. Everything that I use by Rare Beauty is also amazing, but I have really fallen in love with her highlighters. It looks beautiful all over the face, even on the eyes, even on the cheeks, wherever you put it. Also, I repurchased her lip liners multiple times in the last few months. I've tried all the shades and they're beautiful. And if you can get your hands on one of these lip oils, I'd say go for it. It's just a formula that you would not feel or see anywhere else. I promise you that. Fenty also came out with a really nice velvet liquid lip. Lasts me all day long. And that's even through eating burgers, you guys. Next we have Huda Beauty. This concealer lasts all day. It sits very nice on the skin. Same thing as Kosas. This is more of a skincare concealer. If that's what you're looking for, it's a great one. New Six has a great stick bronzer and a great stick blush. This is a good combo. The Manila and Nude Buff. They work well on the skin, you guys. Very easy to blend out. No issues since I started using them. Westman Atelier has one of the best shades of contour stick that I have ever used. It's just a perfect cool tone and now during the sale is the best time to get it to splurge because it's a little pricey. Now when it comes to setting powders, I'm not a big powder gal, but there's a couple that I do use that work beautifully. They don't cake, they don't crease, they look great the whole day and that's going to be the Huda Beauty and the One Size. Both finely milled and both leave a nice smoothing effect. Then we have the Summer Fridays. This is to me one of the most perfect skin tints that I've used in a long time. I use it all up, I'm ready to get another one, and it just leaves your skin looking and feeling like your own skin. Valentino Beauty has a really long wearing eyeliner. It is a little pricey. I would not purchase this all the time, but the way it works and it wears well during the sale, yeah, I'll get another one. When it comes to mascara, there's two that I have repurchased multiple times the last few months. It's this Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara and the Rare Beauty. Both of these just give me length, beautiful volume, last all day long without flaking, and that's what I need. Kosas has one of the most softest sponges I've ever used, and I have repurchased it three times. You just have to try it. It works well, it gets in the tight areas, and it feels like a cloud. Now, if you don't mind a little bit of a burn, this Too Faced Lip Injection is a classic for a reason. It will plump your lips, it will make them feel hydrated, it will fill in the lines, and it does what it should do for a lip plumper. It's not going to give you 10 times your lip size, but it is going to fill in those lines and help you look a little bit more fuller than you did earlier. Now comes a couple items that I purchase every year, no matter what. Armani Luminous Silk is just a cult favorite. It is beautiful on the skin and never fails, and it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. Also, this Fenty Body Sauce is very underrated. If you feel like you don't have enough evenness on your skin tone under your neck and your arms or your chest area, this is going to be the one for you. The Laneige Lip Mask is great for overnight. You go to sleep with your lips feeling dry, you wake up with them feeling hydrated. The last two items I have are wishlist items. They're in the wishlist because I wish I could get them. So none other than Danessa Myricks, this Lightwork 4 palette, it's screaming my name. It is a makeup artist's dream. The shades, the textures, the shimmers, the glitters, just everything about it, I could go on and on. Next is going to be the New Face. This is a skin toning and tightening device. We're not 20 anymore, you guys. So yeah, it's on my wish list, but it's going to stay there. So that's my recommendations for you guys. It's my tried and true. They work for me, so I hope they can work for you. Remember, when you're shopping on the Sephora sales event, you have to enter code SAVE NOW at the checkout, okay? That's the only way you're going to be able to get your discount, so please pay attention before you check out. Happy shopping!